How to measure your roof. Well, there's many different ways you can do it. I just did a real quick rough sketch here of some different sections. So you've got a little gable. I just drew kind of an angle so you can tell it's a gable. Um, I've got a little triangle. I've got a basically a square here. It's kind of slanted, whatever you call that shape. I've got a weird looking wedge and a gable with a hip. So we're gonna go through a couple different ways. First off, there's two primary different ways. You can do it from on your roof, if you're comfortable being up there, or you can do it from the ground. If you do it from the ground or from your cozy chair, I'll plug a video card up here of how you can do it for free on Google Maps, provided you don't have trees you know, high in your roof, because you're gonna need a good image. So check that card out. So with this roof, it is an 812 pitch. What is an 812 pitch? Well, for every 12 inches in, you got an eight inch rise. And I'll explain that why here in a minute, which by the way, that multiplier, while I'm thinking about it, is 1.202. That'll come in handy here in a minute. Let's just start right down here at this little triangle here. So you got a 30 foot section. If you're on your roof and you know from your eave to the point here, or from your eave to the ridge is 18 feet, okay, 18 feet. If you do it from the ground and you just walk across here, this is gonna be 30 feet. With the rise, it's 18 foot aside. That's important to remember. So if you're on your roof, you got the number already, it's 18. So what do you do? You essentially draw a line down the middle here and you split that in half. So now you have 15 foot and 15 foot, right? Hopefully you can see these. My drawing is horrible, I know. So take half of that number. If you were to cut this section and flip it over to here, you now have a square. So take 13, I'm sorry, 15 times your height of 19. Uh, or 18, I'm sorry, 18. So 15 times 18, you're gonna come up with say 270. So almost three square for that side. You repeat the process. This one's easy, it's 19 foot across and you know your height, so you take the height 18 times 19. This one's a little different. If you were to essentially, again, draw a line on one side, you are now gonna take half that distance. So if you got 15 foot right here, okay, you got 15 foot right there. So take half of that number. So you're gonna take roughly eight, be a smidge over, it's actually 7.5, so just take eight. So you got 48 feet right here, okay? Coming over to your middle hip area is now, whoopsie, mark that out, 48. So you're gonna take 18 up times 48, that'll give you the square edge on this side. You do the same thing over here. So you got your bottom is 70 or your top is 55, so take 55 and add 7.5 or eight to it for easy math, that'll give you the square edge there. This one here, 49, so if you know these squares here are 15 feet, you know this one here is gonna be 15 feet. You wanna add those together and then add, you know, multiply this. It's a lot of math. You don't need to do that. There's a simple or easy way to do it. Then how do you do that? You basically take, well, let's see what we got here, 30, 49, so in this middle part here, you're gonna have uh, 19, okay? So if you take 19 plus 15 plus 15 equal 49. An easy way to do it, just get the middle right here, okay? Right here from the middle of the hip. Just stick your tape measure here, walk across, get that number. What's that gonna be? If you take this center section of 19 feet and you add 15 to it, that's gonna be 20, 34. So you've got 34 feet in the middle here, okay? Take your height, 18 times 34, gives you a squareage on that section. There are some easier ways of doing this. If you wanted to, basically, from the ground, you know 70 feet all the way across, and you got 30 feet here, so take, uh, yeah, let's just basically make an imaginary line across here, so you got two sections you're measuring, okay? Simple, it can't get any simpler than this. And you got, from the ground, 30 feet. So you're gonna take 70 feet times 30. Let's see, I wrote that out a minute ago. So 30 feet across by 70, it's gonna be 2100. 2100, okay? Now you got a second box here you gotta figure. Again, you're doing this from the ground, so you know you got 30 feet across here, and you got your height, I don't know why I put 19 earlier, but let's just go with 19, 570. 570, add those together, 7, 6, 2, 2670. That is your actual square footage in a 2D dimension. Don't forget this little part here next, this process, your rise. I'll leave a card or a picture on the screen somewhere where you can get your rise. Basically, any time you go steeper and the steeper you go, the more pitch factor you're gonna need. So remember I told you earlier, 1.202. If you take that number, 26 times 1.202, it'll give you the pitch factor of 32.09, okay? Now you got 32 square. So 32 square is what this is. 
again, I did a video on Google Maps and how you can measure your roof. I'll put a card up above. You see a little card up here, wherever it is, somewhere up here. Just click it. It's packed with information on how you can do this without even going up on your roof. So if you're getting your roof done or you're doing it and you want to figure a material list, it's a great way to do it without even having to be on your roof. Or if you're getting estimates from contractors and they're kind of eh, not telling you what the squareage is, you can kind of cross-reference really quick. Take a tape measure out in the yard and do that or go on to Google Maps and do a sketch around it and then plug in the multiplier. I'll leave a picture of the multiplier on the screen for you or just Google it. Uh, it's not hard to do. I hope I covered enough information on here on different ways you can measure this. There's many different ways you can slice the pie. It just as long as you figure every section and don't forget. I uh, don't believe I forgot anything here. If you've got any tips, tricks for yourself on things you know and that you've done, comment below, let me know. If you like the video, please, for the YouTube algorithm, please just do this for everyone else out there trying to figure out how to do this. You're not doing it for me. I'm trying to share what I know and bring you guys value and how to figure these things. That's what this channel is about, to share tips and tricks and value to you guys. So with that being said, you're not giving me a thumbs up, you're giving the other guys so my video can be lifted from the depths. Please do that. It would help everyone out there trying to find this info out. And if you like the content, consider subscribing. Hit the bell so you're notified when I throw content out there like this. And to all you other subscribers, thank you. I don't have a simple way of seeing it. Otherwise, I gave you shout outs to all 1,267 I think I'm at now. Thank you. I appreciate it all. Right now, we are in October, mid-October 14th, 13th or something. Let's see where I can get by 2021. Help me, please, for the YouTube algorithm. YouTube algorithm, blah, that came out bad. All right, uh, that wraps this video up. We're at seven minutes. We'll do this in uncut upload. Until next time, be safe and see you then. I almost forgot. I want to give you guys a thank you. For all you subscribers, all you people growing with this channel, I want to give a give back to you. Well, that's kind of what my motto here is on this channel. I want to bring value to you guys, you guys seeking the information, things I know over the past 17 years of my career roofing, I want to share it with you. So if it's something you've come across, if you're a subscriber, thank you genuinely from the bottom of my heart. But please give me one of these for the other people seeking this information. And I had a goal in the past video a few weeks back, months ago, I don't remember. I want to hit 10,000 is my next big goal. But I'm going to make a little milestone here. I want to hit 2,000 before the end of the year. That's basically doubling where I was just three weeks ago when I hit 1,000. So I want to give a thank you, a give back to you guys, subscribers, people that are subscribed to the channel and commenting. I got a few of you, a couple guys, yeah, uh, Incognito and Scott W. Thank you guys. I appreciate you. Um, I want to give an Amazon gift card to you guys in a future giveaway. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. I don't know if it's going to be with comments, a random number. You pick it, you comment a number in a future video and I'll do a random uh, number generator on the video. But I want to give a $25 or $50 Amazon gift card to you guys by email because who doesn't shop on, e on Amazon? I do. I love Amazon. I bet you guys too do too. So you know what? Let's just make it, I'm going to draw a line and say $50 Amazon gift card up and coming when I hit 2,000 subscribers. So 50 bucks for you. I mean, yeah, that's a nice little, little shopping spree. So uh, if you got any idea on how to do the giveaway, comment below and let me know. I'm sure you guys watch YouTube videos of other places and you've seen givebacks like this or giveaways. Let me know how they do it. Uh, it's new to me. I'm growing here. This is out of my realm. I don't normally talk to a camera like this in my office or whatever, bring you guys along as much as I do, but I do it for you guys. So please, future giveaway, $50 Amazon gift card before December 31st of 2020. So... New Year's celebration. Come on, let's do this. If we do this in a few weeks, I'll do it in a few weeks. And then I propose, as the channel grows, I will keep raising the bar. So until next time, be safe and see you then. Thank you for one of these.